drop the beat. You know that saying, you are the people you surround yourself with? Just as some of our teachers say, we, the first graduating class, embodied the strongest bond, and though we have struggled through many things together, we have accomplished twice as much. When you when you go to like high school, like the first thing is like, oh my god, what about the senior class? Like, yeah, how are they? and there wasn't a senior class. So you get intimidated. And yeah. Whatnot. So I think that that's definitely a benefit. Where it's like, oh, I didn't feel as intimidated. Like by the other high schools here, probably, but like us ourselves, I'm just like, oh, we're all in the same grade. We're all the same age. Throughout our four-year journey, we had a few key people that helped us to shape our futures for the long run. And we can't even begin to imagine our high school careers without them. And these teachers are just to name a few. It's, uh, you know, I'll remember you guys as a group that started it all when it was small and intimate and like four classrooms, five classrooms, and seven people. And, you know, and that will always be there. And you, the guys, is, the guys and girls that started the first student government, this one will be particularly memorable because it's like the original, you know, and it's like the, the, the folks who have defined most of the moments here. First word that comes to mind is pioneer. I think that um, it, there's something very special about being the first at something and the fact that they took a risk and took a chance and picked a school that was not established says a lot about their character and a lot about you know what they're capable of and hopefully their place in the world and what they'll continue to do. It's amazing to see the seniors thinking critically of themselves, right? Like it's amazing to see one senior who told me like, you know, mister, I feel sad and that's okay. I'm a guy and I'm trying to like, and guys aren't supposed to cry according to societal standards. And what, it was very interesting to see the way they spoke of like society, men can't cry, but I feel like crying. I'm sad, mister, and that's okay to cry. And I thought like, wow, and you're only what, 17 years old and you could think like that? Watching you guys grow from 10 to 12 is like a huge accomplishment. I think one of my first students that got into a prestigious college is of this class. Oh my God, can see. <clears throat> and I think that's an accomplishment for both me and the students that we have. Casey. <laughs> As part of this video, we asked that some seniors read letters they wrote to themselves when they were just freshmen. Did you open this for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. We are Ashley Villatoro. Hi. Congratulations, girl. You're about to graduate high school after four long years at Bronx Collaborative. Do you realize you're a senior in high school? Can you remember freshman year when you walked into school, looking at everyone, wondering who was going to be your friend? Remember your first day of high school, all the new kids, new people, new teachers. Wow, it was all new. Hopefully by now you know everybody. This school helped you become a bit more outspoken than before. Oh wow, she knew. I knew I would change. <laughs> yeah, you were always so shy and quiet. You liked keeping yourself and being independent. So Jabria, when you get this letter, I hope life treats you good. You're happy with who you are. <laughs> and you still... <laughs> I love you, Jabria. Now I want you to close your eyes and envision June 23rd, the day the first graduating class of Bronx Collaborative will walk the aisles up to the stage that is the bridge to their tomorrow. I want you to imagine the sea of flashing cameras, as well as the rows of caps and gowns. Now, open your eyes.